John at IPT Trans. Today we're going to be installing the valve body in a Subaru 5 EAT automatic. First thing we're going to need to do is remove the trans pan. Under the pan there's a wiring harness and we need to depress these little clips and take the wiring harness off of the valve body. There's also four tabs that hold the wiring harness in, so we're just going to get all that and move it to the side. Now under here we have a bunch of 10 millimeter head bolts, but not all of them need to come out. All right, um, Most of them that you need to take out are black, so that's easy to, to see. Now there's five gold color ones that also have to come out. And they are here. And the rest of them go all the way through the filter. And now you could just remove the valve body from the transmission. Okay, two things that we're going to be aware of is there are two different length bolts. The black ones are a little bit shorter than the gold ones. And also, on the back of the valve body, we have a speed sensor that's pretty delicate as well as all these solenoids that are very delicate so you want to be real careful that you don't bang them into something and break them and because you're gonna have a problem if they break they're not available separately so you're gonna to have to buy a whole new valve body to the tune of eight hundred dollars or so which nobody really wants to do now inside the transmission case itself you're going to see there's a recess here and this is where these speed sensors need to engage into so you want to make sure you put it down straight and flat and you don't want to risk the chance of them breaking or, or anything like that. Okay now to put the valve body back on there's a couple things we need to be aware of namely that this protrusion needs to engage into this manual valve as you're putting it down. Now when you have this thing almost down it's going to have a slightly springy feeling and that's that speed sensor that I showed you before resting up against the case. This is what it should look like when the manual valve is correctly engaged. You have your protrusion sticking into the valve. Okay, and you could check this by moving the linkage and everything should move together. Like so. See that the valve is moving with, with the linkage arm. That's the correct installation. I have this set in here and hopefully you can see which bolts are required to remove the valve body. The black ones are fairly self-explanatory. There's 13 altogether that hold it to the trans and the ones that are not black are here, 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 and here. Now we're going to get these bolts approximately, you know, a little more than, than hand tight.
once we do that, I like to check the manual valve again to make sure nothing funny happened and that it's still engaged correctly. Now with a torque wrench set at 80 inch pounds, you're going to torque the bolts that you just installed. Now you reinstall your connectors. There's three of them. These are all a different size so they can't get plugged in incorrectly. And then you're going to secure the wiring harness back down under these tabs. And kind of be careful up here because it comes real close to where the pan sits. And I've seen people put a pan down on them and kind of crush the wires and they go to ground, you know, check engine lights, codes, no fun. At that point, all that needs to be done is to reinstall the pan. Now, there's pan gaskets for these, but it's more reliable to use silicone like the factory uses. So, you know, you want everything nice and clean and get it all brake cleaned up and all the old stuff ground off and put the pan on and you probably want to let it sit for a while before you go ahead and fill it up. And when you do fill it up they kind of take more fluid than most people think. The uh, Subaru Trans is probably going to take about eight or nine quarts once you remove the valve body. But this is about all it needs to be done. It's a pretty simple project and uh, that's all there is to it. Hopefully this will give you a better shot of which bolts need to be removed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Alright, another thing to note here is when you ship these valve bodies to me, you really want to package them very well and, and bubble wrap the heck out of them because they're real fragile and as I said before if a solenoid breaks then you're buying a whole new valve body for eight nine hundred dollars and that's really no fun so a lot of bubble wrap a lot of shipping peanuts a big box and most importantly insure it for the value of a new valve body that way if something does happen you're covered